Welcome to the award-winning What's Cooking Show. Welcome to What's Cooking. There's one seat left just for you. Today, how about some desserts on the grill, John? We could start with desserts and then end with desserts. End with desserts. <laughs> <laughs> we have three really great ones, taking advantage of fresh fruit and everything. We're going to start out with a Jamaican grilled pineapple. And um, I'm going to make the base mixture, which consists of some butter and some honey. Just some clover honey, something not too strong. You probably want to put this on here before you... I think I want to cover it up. Yeah, that's a good idea. Keep the uh, bees away. You're so sweet, they won't stay away anyway. Brown sugar and... Um, Thank you. Hey, some Jamaican rum with a leaf a, a in Jamaican it. A Jamaican leaf in it. <laughs> Actually, it's not Jamaican rum, it's Puerto Rican rum, but after you pour it in, who cares where it's from? <laughs> All right, heat that baby up, would you, John? <laughs> Okay. We want to bring that to a boil and um, dissolve the sugar. Great. It and won't take long with my little blaster over here. I see. And you want to get your pineapple ready? You're going to do something a little bit interesting with the pineapple, aren't you? I am. <laughs> <laughs> yes. First, we're going to cut off the top and the bottom. Why don't you bring it over this way a little bit? Okay. Get rid of these two pieces. Just throw them down there. There you go. I'll actually give you more room this time. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> these are beautiful. These are these new extra sweet ones. Kind of like you. Aren't those beautiful? They're beautiful. They're beautiful, yes. They smell so good. I'm trying to cut these into thirds. That wasn't a very good third. Yeah. He has a math a major, you know. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Look, <laughs> a third, a third, and uh, a, a big, half. A big <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try it again. See if I can get let's a little see. bit. Let's see. I have a marker here. We can mark. <laughs> no. Some people like smaller pieces than others, you know. I see. Have you ever noticed that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's mix it. I'm going to reach over you. It's boiling. Which won't be the first time. Yeah, but we have to melt the butter. <laughs> Where is your common sense? <laughs> I left it in the house. Okay, just let it go. Just I, don't I, panic. I think that's about ready. I don't want to burn it. You what have to cut think? the core out. You have other jobs to do. Okay. <laughs> now, like figuring out how to get that I've into a third. I cut this into, <laughs> into six pieces. <laughs> How's that? Well, that's boiling too I much. I tried to tell you. All right, shut the heat off, please. Wait, wait, put that I'm going to hold it. This is like a Marx Brothers routine, <laughs> I think. Uh, you need a trivet or something. Don't worry about me. Where's the trivet? <laughs> okay, just, just back go. to the core. <laughs> okay, I have cut this pineapple into We've six pieces. We've absolutely lost control and we just got started. <laughs> I have cut, would you let me talk? I have cut this pineapple into six pieces. Now, if you look carefully, you'll see the core, which kind of has some uh, little lighter color. We want to cut that out. Excuse me. Like so. We'll do that on all six pieces. I do have a garbage down here just in case people wanted. Am I really throwing this on the ground? Mm -hmm. They know. They, they know that you're throwing it on the ground. Yeah. I'm going to throw you on the ground in a minute. Hey, <laughs> clean it up. That was clean. Boy, okay. that looks like uh, thirds to me. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Okay, now, we want these about an inch thick, not all the way through. So you're going to keep them on the skin? I'm going to keep them on the skin to cook. 
Is that to make it easier to serve and eat? Yes. <laughs> Funny I should say that. Funny you should say that. A sharp knife comes in handy, as you can plainly see. And then we're going to baste them with your uh, your base that you made. Okay, let's move this around a little bit. Let's move it this way. How's that? So I can reach it. Okay. I'm kind of like your assistant here. Yes. Vanna. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Vanna. Would you like to buy a vowel? That's your line, isn't it? Mm hmm I stole it again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now you need a basting brush. Do you have one in mind? a basting brush. Yes. And you have we your need, own? We need a uh, grid to put these on. Here. <clears throat> put the grid there. I think I'd like to base them on here. Why is that, John? Just to keep the... Uh, I want to know every reason for everything. <laughs> Perhaps our audience does, too. Sounds like the trucks are out in force yeah. today. <laughs> the, between the trucks and our, uh, our resident Wren, we have a little competition out here. The reason I'm doing this over here is, is to uh, kind of minimize the dripping down through even though I'm going to use the indirect method. And I want to put them down like so, so I can get some, hopefully a little bit of browning, mm. but for sure, some nice even cooking. Okay, now we're ready to put this over here on the grill. Now we'll take this off. Noticed down inside here there's a drip pan underneath the grid so that it will catch any of the drippings and we won't have flare-ups. How long are we going to put this on for, Bev? Ten minutes. Okay, I'll set my timer. Ten minutes, then we're going to baste it. Right, and turn then turn it and give them ten more minutes. Okay. And you seem to have some peachy kinds of things. Yeah, we're going to do a really simple uh, peach and berry dessert next. And actually, this could be a side <laughs> dish also, as well as a dessert. And um, you have your foil there. Um, we've taken some peaches, and we've halved them. And then uh, the pit doesn't always come out very easily. So John has uh, a great technique for getting them out. Pure muscle. <laughs> Show them, Herc. You're, you're, you're a live one today. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I cut down through this with a, uh, a big heavy knife. It was a chef's knife, as a matter of fact. And so How heavy was it? I could hardly lift it. It was so heavy. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, in here, they're not going to get anything out of this at all, are they? <laughs> they might. <laughs> yeah, okay. uh, is half of a seed. So all I do is take a paring knife. It's really and a pit. But it is the pit. Mm -hmm. It's the seed. And kind of work your way around it. Oh, that's nice. Nice job. Shazam. Okay, then in order to keep it from browning so much, you want to take lemon juice and brush it on the inside of the peach. And then for each one, and we're going to do six halves, for each one we're going to fill it with a little bit of brown sugar. And I, why don't you do that? Okay. Let's move this over. Why don't you move it over so they can see what you're doing. A little bit of brown sugar. And a couple of blueberries. And we want two layers of thickness? Right. Okay. Here we go. Okay, you do the brown sugar. 
Oh, you're taking another one. I'll do the blueberries. You know, raspberries would be good with this, too. It'd oh, be yeah. like a, a peach melba, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. There you go. One, two. They're easier to fit on your grill when you do the individual packets like this as opposed to doing one long packet with three and three. You Don't can you really think? do it either either way, but I kind of prefer this way. Uh, I think a it's thing. a little easier to work. Yeah, it's the way we're doing it today. <laughs> okay. You can also ser serve uh, your guests, you know, the whole package if you want. Mm -hmm. This is really great as a side dish with pork and uh, chicken too. Or by itself. By itself. This one looks so nice. I want to do this one as the final, okay. the grand finale. Should I put extra brown sugar in it? No. That's enough, isn't it? Yeah. Do you notice how consistent I am with blueberries? Sometimes I put 30 in there, and sometimes <laughs> I put five. <laughs> you want the one with 30 in there. Right. OK. Now we'll go put them on the grill. Uh, at this point, I have the part that we filled facing up. And I'm going to turn it upside down for the first, what, seven minutes? Is that right, Beth? Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to turn them upside down. And we'll so the peaches are going to get softer, but they're not going to get real soft. They're not going to be mushy, which is exactly what you want. We'll give that seven minutes. And then we'll turn them over and give them seven minutes on the other side. Great. OK. The other recipe we're going to do is another uh, peachy dessert off the grill, which uses bananas and peaches. And I keep stepping on this cord. It's camouflaged, and I can't see it. Kind of blends right in there with yeah. the grass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just made that up. Sounded good. OK, we're going to do some bananas for this one. And this one we're going to serve over pound cake with um, some fresh whipped cream. And we need to melt some butter. And somewhere we have a pot. I see it, I see it. I love this little burner. Comes in handy out here. It does, it sure does. And let's see, we have um, the butter, the honey, the cinnamon. And I need my banana slicer. Your favorite toy? Yeah. This is kind of fun. It comes with instructions in case you can't figure out how to use it. <laughs> but it's plastic, and it does a really good job of slicing the bananas consistently. Evenly. Evenly. And you won't, no danger of cutting yourself. Well, that's true. Perfecto. You do one, John. I don't know if I can figure it out. Yeah. Uh-oh. This butter is uh, melting rapidly. Good. Just four bananas for this recipe, and this serves a lot. You could um, use this whole recipe for one pound cake. I think I better keep an eye on this butter while you do the bananas. You're scared that this is too hard for you. Huh? That's right. This is one hot burner. Oh, look, I smushed part of it. Save that. Put it in. But it is ready when you are. Would you peel that, please? Do I get to cut one now? Just to prove that I can do it? Yeah. <clears throat>
Whoa, you're good. I'm checked out. <laughs> <coughs> On this banana slicer. Okay. Then we're using some frozen sliced peaches for this one that have been thawed and drained. And to that pot, we're going to add some cinnamon. How much would you like? Just a whatever. That's a quarter teaspoon. Okay. That looks like enough. Yep. And let me add some honey to it. Okay, honey. Bad. That was really bad. Two tablespoons. Do you have uh, a stirring device over there? Okay. Got it? Yep. Great. Pour it on? Pour it on. You spread these peaches around a little bit. Okay. It's good enough to eat already, doesn't it? It sure does. Stir that up a little bit, and we're going to put this on the grill for only about four minutes. We want to soften up the bananas and heat the peaches and have it make its own sauce. Do you have oh any boy. grill room? Sure. What can I... So you're going to put that on direct? Mm hmm Right beside the peaches. See all the room we've got in there? Great. Doesn't that look good? Okay, you wanted to talk about direct and indirect? I did. Hey, there's the trivet over there. There it is. We don't Would even you need like it, it anymore? No. <laughs> Just in case we need yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mentioned earlier when we put uh, the pineapple on, on top of the grid, which I like to use because it's handy getting things in and mm -hmm. out. Uh, but in fact... Time's up. Let's do that first and then we'll talk about it. Okay. So you need to baste again. Mm-hmm. They look so good. But I want to turn them over first. Now let's baste them first, and then we'll turn them and baste them again. They look great already. Not only great, they look fabulous. So we'll get a little baste on that side. Turn them. It's an awfully big third you got there, John. You're not going to let go of that, are you? No, I'm not. <laughs> now, if I could only figure out how to get these turned, slippery little rascals that they are. There we go. Well, you know how you always tell me that guys are more spatial than women? Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> I didn't see you doing any cutting. That's what I think. Well, <laughs> I didn't want to show you up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, while I have this open, if you can see down in here far enough, you'll see a foil pan. And that's underneath, um, it's called a drip pan. It's underneath the food. <laughs> <laughs> the coals are on either side, and that's called the indirect method of cooking. Uh, it's used mostly to avoid flare-ups, but it also does a nice job of... Uh, Nice, slow, even cooking. That's indirect. Okay. Now, this other bell that went off over here. That's to turn your peaches over. Is to it? turn the peaches over, and that's direct, which means there's coal spread out evenly all across the bottom. And we're now going to turn the peaches over. Get some direct heat on the bottom. Did 
did you add more coals before you got started? Yes, I did. Um, what Bev is talking about is you need to add coals once you've gotten them started. Uh, I like to, as soon as they're evenly covered with ash, that means that they're, they're hot. Uh, then I like to add, oh, maybe uh, for these large kettles, maybe 15 or 18 more briquettes. On a smaller kettle, I might use 10 to 12 additional. And then I'm going to add additional coals about every half hour. And that helps uh, keep it nice and uniform. About half as many when you add additional, or? Yeah, that's right. So. Okay. Uh, now I need to set some timers here. This one, I'm going for seven more minutes. Is that right? Mm-hmm. And pineapple about the same because it's been on a while. Yeah. Okay. Now, what would you like to talk about? I think we should just let them cook. Okay until they're ready. I think that's a good idea. So with that, I think we'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna take these peaches in foil off, take them over to Bev so that she can get them ready to serve. And our bananas and peaches are cooking nicely in here. So just like any time you have anything you cooked hot. in foil, you need to be careful when you open it up for the steam. Do not burn yourself. You want some mitts? Yes. Well, you need them. No, I'll, I I'll, need them first. Yeah, I'll, I'll use a towel. <clears throat> okay, because I'm going to move the pineapple slices over here. is a little easier to get off because of our grid. Oh, look at how good these look, John. Oh, beautiful. Look how good these look, Bev. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little competition, huh? Garbage again. Okay. And let's see. Are you gonna baste those one more time? That's a good idea. Just of one little. That's a good idea. One little burst, burst more of flavor, right? Yeah. One burst me, of baste. Let me close up my grid. My grill over here. Crash bang. Just throw stuff on the ground. <laughs> This one was hermetically sealed. Perfect, huh? Just want to show you how to serve these. Like so. I'm going to put some pieces over here. Hey. Just for decoration. I don't need decoration on mine. Now you're hurting my feelings. <laughs> Okay, it looks great. How about if you slice that pound cake up? Okay. Put a slice in this bowl over here. Everything's on my side. Mm. Sticky. These are sticky. That's why they're so good. This would look a lot nicer if these pineapple pieces weren't on here, but I just have no control sometimes. Hey, that's no way to talk to your husband. I think I'm going to push him down in there. How's that? You don't like my pineapple pieces? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <clears throat> no, it looks beautiful. Are you ready for some uh, yeah. bananas? Yes. Most definitely. 
Okay, back over here to the direct grill. Oh boy. You see how those are just steaming? Beautiful. Did you give the sh pineapples one more shot of baste? I did not. Oh, Thank it's you. It's right behind you. Okay, we're going to put these on. Get some peaches here. And to top it off, we have some soft whipped cream with some cinnamon and some nutmeg in it. Wonderful. Oh boy. Looks great. Well, we hope we've given you some really interesting desserts using fresh fruit. I'll put that in there. Um, great. And the idea that you can do desserts on the grill. Most people don't even know that you can do That's desserts right. on the grill. And actually these could be side dishes also, and pineapple is available all year, so it's really great. Bananas and peaches also. Um, thanks. I'm ready to eat. Okay. That's it for today. Stop in again and find out what's cooking. Bye. For a copy of today's recipes, send a self-addressed stamped envelope marked number 48, Barbecue Desserts, to What's Cooking, 843 North Cleveland, Massillon Road, Akron, Ohio, Join Travel Connections on the Costa Victoria, one of the newest cruise ships in the Caribbean. Make new friends from the Wadsworth area and around the world on this once-in-a-lifetime group cruise highlighting Cozumel, Ocho Rios, Jamaica, Grand Cayman, and Key West. For more information, contact Travel Traditions at 336-4707. We hope to see you sailing along with us.